Hey guys welcome back to another episode, in this video we will be going through our very simple yet profitable technique. RSI Moving Average Martingale Trading Strategy. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell, and share this video across your WhatsApp, Facebook accounts, or Twitter to show your support. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto, because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. Learn RSI Moving Average Martingale Strategy, based on Larry Connors' time, price, and scale in trade principles. Connors is a trading industry guru with over 35 years of trading experience that we can learn from. Throughout this video, we'll learn more about how to make a time, price, and scale in trade, and everything you need to know to get started. The RSI Moving Average Martingale Trading Strategy can be applied to stocks, commodities, currencies, cryptocurrencies, and any other market that you can access charting prices. All RSI Moving Average Martingale trades are based on technical analysis. In trading, the principles of price action and technical analysis are universally applicable across all markets. Therefore, if you're a forex trader, stock trader, or futures trader, and you want to use this trading strategy, it's a good path to take. Let's get the ball rolling by laying down the foundation for the RSI Moving Average Martingale trading strategy. This RSI Moving Average Martingale trading system combines the time element with the price element and the power of scaling into a position to find overbought and oversold situations in the market. The golden rule of trading this system is to only trade in the direction of the predominant trend, using as reference the 200-day moving average. Secondly, to only buy stocks, currencies, or cryptos on pullbacks, not breakouts. Basically, we look to buy into short-term weakness and sell into short-term strength. The expectation is that the market will resume its prior trend and revert to its mean price. This RSI Moving Average Martingale strategy uses two technical indicators. First, the 200-day exponential moving average or EMA used to determine the direction of the trend. Second, two-period RSI used to determine when the pullback is overbought or oversold. Your chart should look something similar to this chart. I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart and it will automatically plot all these indicators perfectly on your charts so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description below. At this point, you've learned the concepts behind the RSI Moving Average Martingale trading strategy. And now, how RSI Moving Average Martingale trading strategy works. Here are the trading rules for buy signals. First, the price must trade above the 200-day EMA. Second, two-period RSI must be oversold or below 25 level for two consecutive days. Third, on the second day, buy 10% of your position on the close. Fourth, on the third day, if the price close is lower than your previous entry price, average in and buy 20% more of your position. Fifth, on the fourth day, if the price close is lower than your previous entry price, average in and buy 30% more of your position. Sixth, on the fifth day, if the price close is lower than your previous entry price, average in and buy 40% more of your position. Seventh, when the two period RSI is in overbought territory or above 75 level, take profits at the closing price of that day. Trading with this advanced scaling in technique allows us to establish a full position when the market is oversold. 10% plus 20% plus 30% plus 40% equals 100%. If you practice enough this strategy, you'll notice that the market will not give you the chance to establish a full position on all RSI moving average martingale trades. The main idea behind scaling into a trade among others is to make sure you've got a stake in the trend in case it takes off earlier than expected. The main idea behind the RSI moving average martingale trading rules for buy signals is to trade the undervalued market above 200-day EMA. We buy the first portion of our position at the close on the second day and continue to scale in until we establish our full position. 
Whether we established a 10% position or a 100% position, we exit when the two-period RSI crosses above the 75 level. Once again, here is the step-by-step -step process of what happened in the RSI moving average martingale trade. First, Euro's United States dollar daily chart is above 200-day exponential moving average and two-period RSI closes the first day below 25. Second, RSI closes below 25 for the second day in a row. So, we buy 10% at the close. Third, price closes lower than the first position entry. We buy 20% at the close. Fourth, price closes lower than the second entry price. We buy 30% at the close. Fifth, price closes higher than the third entry price. We stay on the sideline. Sixth, price closes lower than the previous entry price. We buy 40% at the close. Seventh, the two-period RSI reaches overbought, above 75 level. We lock in profits. In the trade example, with scaling into our RSI moving average martingale trading strategy, we managed to establish 100% of our position, but the average cost was lower thus maximized the profit potential. And now, here are the RSI moving average martingale trading rules for sell signals. First, the price must trade below the 200-day exponential moving average. Second, two-period RSI must be overbought or above 75 level for two consecutive days. Third, on the second day, sell 10% of your position on the close. Fourth, on the third day, if the price closes higher than your previous entry price, average in and sell 20% more of your position. Fifth, on the fourth day, if the price closes higher than your previous entry price, average in and sell 30% more of your position. Sixth, on the fifth day, if the price closes higher than your previous entry price, average in and sell 40% more of your position. Seventh, when the two-period RSI is in oversold territory or below 25 level, take profits at the closing price of that day. Once again, how the short RSI moving average martingale trade process works. First, Australian dollars United States dollar daily chart is below 200-day exponential moving average and two-period RSI closes for the first day above 75 level. Second, RSI closes above 75 level for the second day in a row. So, we sell 10% at the close. Third, price closes higher than the first position entry we sell 20% at the close. Fourth, price closes higher than the second position entry. We sell 30% at the close. Fifth, price closes lower than the third position entry. We stay on the sideline. Sixth, price closes lower than the third position entry. We stay on the sideline. Seventh, price closes higher than the third position entry. We sell 40% at the close. Eighth, when the two-period RSI is in oversold territory, below 25 level. We lock in profits at the closing price of that day. And now, let's dive into some of the advantages of RSI moving average martingale trading strategy. So, why use RSI moving average martingale trading strategy? Here is why you want to use the RSI moving average martingale trading strategy. The first is a high probability entry technique. Second, the strategy works not only on ETFs, but across all markets stocks, currencies, cryptocurrencies, etc. Third, scaling in obtains better prices. Fourth, the strategy exploits well-known price patterns, trading pullbacks where risk is lowest. Before we sum up everything, let's cover when the best time to take a RSI moving average martingale trade is. The ideal RSI moving average martingale trade scenario is when we're dealing with strong market trends. Larry Connor's two periods RSI is a very aggressive filter that is designed to help traders enter the market even on small pullbacks that otherwise you wouldn't be able to capitalize on. However, because we use a very short term period for the RSI indicator, it's possible for the RSI moving average martingale trading strategy can work in a ranging market as well. But, you should test this idea first as we prefer using the system with trending markets. Another question you might have 
is whether or not there is a risk in averaging down your RSI moving average martingale trade. The answer is. Is there a danger of averaging down your RSI moving average martingale trade? Scaling into a losing position comes with some drawbacks. However, there are also a couple of advantages that scaling into a RSI moving average martingale trade can give you, namely. First. Timing your trades for entries doesn't have to be 100% accurate. Second. Scaling in allows you to actively manage your risk. Third. Gives you a better average entry price. Fourth. Minimize risk. In a nutshell, when you scale into a RSI moving average martingale trade, you're actually averaging down as each consecutive entry is done after the price has fallen below the previous entry. Usually, averaging down is a losing game. As Paul Tudor Jones would say, losers average losers. But let me explain why there is no danger to average down into a RSI moving average martingale trade. The answer is quite simple. Our risk remains the same 2%, or 5%, or 10%, or whatever you're comfortable to risk on any given trade. For example, if you use the 2% rule in investing this means you're limiting your risk to 2% per trade. When you execute a RSI moving average martingale trade, you're simply breaking down the 2% amount into four smaller trades, while you risk no more than 2% of your trading capital. For example, let's say you want to buy 100 shares of Tesla which represents 2% of your account balance. To scale in according to the 1, 2, 3, 4 technique, you should break down your trade into 4 smaller trades as follow. Trade number 1. 10 shares. Trade number 2. 20 shares. Trade number 3. 30 shares. Trade number 4. 40 shares. In total, you have just accumulated 100 shares which are still only 2% of your account balance. I hope this clears out any confusion. Here are other examples of RSI moving average martingale trading strategy in Forex and all financial markets.
if you practice enough this strategy, you'll notice that the market will not give you the chance to establish a full position on all your scaling trades. The main idea behind scaling into a trade among others is to make sure you've got a stake in the trend in case it takes off earlier than expected. As always, if you learn something new or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell, and share this video across your WhatsApp, Facebook accounts, or Twitter to show your support. See you next time.